Hey, praise God. This is the old telephone office. <laughs> and it says, telegrams called for, money telegraphed. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, help us see that you are the only richness that we can ever have. Hallelujah. Jesus is our treasure. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And on the other end of this building is the essay office and bank where they'd bring their gold and everything and get it weighed out. And this is a old mining town. Hallelujah. That, well, it used to be the richest in gold. Hallelujah. Consequently, they named it Gold Field. <laughs> Hallelujah. And this is in Nevada, out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, praise God. God will let you search and do whatever you want. But judgment does fall on you sooner or later for seeking the wrong things. <laughs> That's right. This town flourished with like 20,000 people or so. And uh, then it, it boomed for a while, long time, but then a flood came and washed a bunch of the houses and stuff off their foundations. And like, we're up in the mountains, you're thinking to yourself, looking around, where would a flood come from? Oh, it'd come from God. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> then they rebuilt and uh, then a f massive fire came through. Mmm, that's right. They didn't get the message. <laughs> and uh, it was pretty well destroyed by that. And then they started rebuilding again. And then finally, <laughs> a final fire came through and destroyed most of what was left. And then, so it's still a semi ghost town. There's like, I think it said 150 people still live here. But it's been mined out, you know. Uh, worldly, earthly riches, they, they blow away. They don't stay. So Jesus <laughs> is the only thing and the only riches that will be for eternity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, help me read your holy word. Lord, help me sing this little song that praise that you have chosen for me to sing today in the mighty name of Jesus and Lord draw the hearts to you and open their eyes to see spiritual eyes to see and open their ears their spiritual ears to hear in Jesus Christ's name amen hallelujah thank you Lord all right hallelujah Psalms 119 10 through 16 with my whole heart, <laughs> hallelujah, have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hidden mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in the statutes. I in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Jesus is the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And then Proverbs 2, 3 through 8. Hallelujah. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lifted, liftest up thy voice, for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 20 through 21. 
There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise. Hallelujah. Oil, the oil's the Holy Ghost. <laughs> in the fire. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. In the dwelling of the wise. And of course, the wise are the ones who seek after Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, Lord. But a foolish man spendeth it up. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness and honor. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Isaiah 33, 5 through 6. Hallelujah. The Lord is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Isaiah 45, chapter, two, uh, no, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 2 through 3. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in asunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you're so wonderful to serve, Lord. Oh, you're so wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 6. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 19 through 25. Thank you, Jesus. And then 30, we'll do 33 and 34 as well. Hallelujah. Lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where treasure is, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. Those are the words of Jesus, guys. <laughs> Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Thank you, Lord. You take good care of us. Hallelujah. Now, Matthew chapter 13, 44 through 52. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. That which, when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered up of every kind which when it was full they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels but cast the bad away mm, don't be the bad <laughs> god will he'll gather the good into his vessels hallelujah but he gets rid of the bad Matthew chapter 19, verse 21. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 21, where are you? There you are. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that, 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 sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come and follow me. <laughs> God knows the intent of your heart. And he knows if he is number one in your heart. Oh, Jesus. I see it in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing's more important than Jesus. All right. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 6 through 7. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Colossians chapter 2, verse 3. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's read verse 2 as well. Thank you, Jesus. That their hearts might be com comforted, being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and the Father and of Christ, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. First Timothy chapter 6, 10 through 12 and 17 through 19. Hallelujah. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lay hold on Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love to praise his name. Hallelujah. Don't you? Hallelujah. I love to praise
I love